All right, got the weekend, so I figured it'd be a good time to try out my new Mead 12-inch LX90. Got this off High Point Scientific when they uh, went to California and bought up all the bankruptcy items from Mead and Orion. Said this is 12-inch, and what we're going to be doing, I use that to shut the viewfinder off or the screen off so you go through the viewfinder to be doing is running sony a7s 2 in 4k live video mode very curious as to how this is gonna look i have a 12 inch dipsonian much faster scope and i'm hoping this is a lot sharper but we got the parade of planets going on tonight and what I'm going to do is attempt to get a few of them. I'm probably not going to have all of them in view. Oh, and the moon. And there's uh, Venus. So we're going to get rolling right away. Uh, this is the super heavy duty field tripod, by the way. But pretty nice scope. Actually, real nice. Broke the bank buying the darn thing. So I want to get going. The moon's out. All right, we're hitting the moon first. This is uh, actually pretty close to Venus. Just a sliver of it. It's pretty neat. I might uh, run my ISO up and down, shutter speed. I want to see if I can't catch a satellite or something by it. Right there's Venus. What it is is with the sun setting, just like the moon, I uh, only see part of it. Pretty neat. I'll digitally zoom in. I'm hoping I'm focused. I got a better focus wheel coming to add on to this scope, so. But it's pretty nice. I can uh, at least track it. Okay, right there's Jupiter, and we're going to let that sit a little bit. I got everything turned way down. You can see uh, three, maybe four moons with it. I'm actually going to time lapse this for a little bit, do a test, because eventually I'm going to try to do a real long time lapse on Jupiter. I want to make sure it's centered.
and focused somehow. All right, right here is the Orion, or the Great Horsehead Nebula. And I am running one-tenth shutter speed, only 102,000 ISO on Vivid. And that is very impressive. This is beating my 12-inch um, Dobsonian for clarity. I'm going to slew around a little bit. Just to show you that I am not looking at a picture here. Oh, there goes a satellite or something. Pretty cool. I want to turn my shutter speed up, but I want to catch detail too. Look at that guy. That is beautiful. I don't know where I'm going to. Uh, place this in the video, but I had had it on picture mode, not straight movie mode when I was looking at things. So it makes a huge difference in video mode with 4K. But man, that's unreal. I kind of want to let it sit here for a little bit and see if we can catch anything flashing or whatever. I got a focal reducer coming that'll brighten it up even more. And zoom out a little so you can uh, possibly see more things. I'm impressed. I might go to different modes and see, try it out. I'm not even bothering with the pictures. I think I'm fairly focused. Pretty cool. We're going to train it on Jupiter and probably call it a night. I have to move a couple things. I want to try to do the time lapse a little bit of Jupiter if I can. I'm going to try to scope out just slewing over. <coughs> Pretty close. attributed human happiness to the planet's power, giving rise to the term jovial. In a far-reaching journey around our sun, over 60 moons come along for the ride, including the Galileo-discovered moons of Callisto, Ganymede, Io, and Europa. But Jupiter is never in a hurry. Before it can complete just one revolution around the sun, we Earthlings have completed nearly 12. That's pretty neat. A little skipped up. Okay, so I don't know if I'm going to put this video in with the other one or a totally separate video. Just in case this is going to be a separate video. This is my LX90 12 inch bead. And if it is a 
going in with the other video it does but I'm hooking my Sony if I get it here a7s2 up and we're gonna film the Sun I spent uh, some money on a solar filter a decent one when the uh, mead went belly up and they had all their might have to take my camera off. Didn't want to have to do that. When Mead went belly up, they sold everything. And High Point Scientific came and got it. I bought this glass. Solar filter for 200 bucks. Uh, normally it was a lot more than that. You don't want to look through your eyepiece of your finder scope when you're trying to look for the sun, okay? <laughs> I'm going to hook my stuff up on here and so I can view it with uh, a bigger screen. Or we'll get started. Alright, I got the A7S II hooked up. You're not going to be able to see it right there. But we got some sunspots and what I want to do, it's windy so it's going to move a little, but I'm going to um, follow the sun and do a time lapse of it 